I was recently asked by a mom how your own health affects the family. And I imagine this is a worry or concern that a lot of parents might have. Everyone is going through things and life is infinitely complicated. It's easy to say your parenting has to always be your first priority, but what happens when it can't be? What happens when you find yourself dealing with incredible pressure from financial to medical to even emotional problems like depression or your own anxiety? So let's take a few minutes today and cover the topic, how your own health affects the family on the Just 7 Steps blog. Hi, I'm Robert Schramm, uh, a behavior analyst, education specialist, author, and dad. And I'm also the developer of the Seven Steps to Instructional Motivation. Each week, I provide you with helpful information based on the Just Seven Steps approach. So if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please take a second, do it right now. You'll be glad that you did. I'm not kidding. Stop. Do it right now. I'll wait. Today, we talk about how our own health affects the family. And this is an important topic because our kids obviously need us and our guidance. We are everything to them, and without us, life would be unrecognizable to them. So we need to do what we have to so that we can be there for them. I'm often reminded of the airline rule that when your oxygen masks fall from the ceiling, we are told to first put the mask on ourselves and then secure one on our children. This may seem counterintuitive as you have, may have determined that their lives are more important than your own. But if you try to help your child first and in the process you lose the ability to breathe, you can't help them at all. So it makes sense that we have to be able to take care of ourselves as a prerequisite to truly being able to take care of our kids. What does taking care of ourselves look like? Well, it starts by being attuned to your needs, having the ability to know when you are in trouble or unstable in any way, and being able to rectify that as a priority before going back to your parenting goals. After COVID especially, the number of parents who have dealt with bouts of depression has really skyrocketed. New research from Boston University School of Public Health reveals that the elevated rate of depression has persisted into 2021 and even worsened, climbing to 32.8% and affecting one in every three American adults. So if one in three adults have experienced some depression in the past few years, it's not a stretch to imagine that that would include at least one in three parents. Now, I'm not an expert on depression. I do know that there are several different forms of therapy and support for depression, from medications, to talk therapy, to cognitive behavioral therapy, to ketamine treatments. If you sense that you are not your old self and that life feels more and more frustrating and that you are losing energy and struggling to get through your daily chores and interactions, you are not gonna be able to be the parent that you want to be. So immediately after watching this video, take some time online to research options in your area. Don't wait. Depression can get better on its own, but there's no way to know if yours will or not. And the sooner you start a treatment that might help, the sooner you'll be in a better position to help your kids. If you are dealing with other health-related conditions or concerns, you need to also be committed to finding the best help for yourself that you can. Waiting and hoping for things to get better due to either a lack of money or time will only make things worse. One of the hidden costs of high healthcare premiums is that people choose to skip their checkups and check-ins when things are a bit off. Nothing is more frustrating than skipping a checkup on your car that could have diagnosed you with a fixable problem that has now turned into something larger that needs 10 times the costs. So even though it's hard to come up with money for unexpected expenses, you can't skimp on your own health. Remember, if you're not there, who will put the oxygen mask on your child? And that brings me to the next important point. As a parent, you need to find a way to build a community. If you have a larger extended family 
this is likely a lot easier for you. So start to consider who in your family you can count on to step in and take over parenting duties if your health problems increase or become unmanageable. If you don't have family, are there people in your community that you can turn to? If so, start to build these relationships now. Find a church or charity, even neighbors who might have the time and ability to help you in a pinch. Stay-at-home moms are often inundated with their own worries. But what about retired families in your neighborhood? What about volunteers from local charities? If your health is something that is going to be an issue for you going forward, put some plans in place now to organize the relationships you may need to help you. And if you have family relationships that are estranged, consider the cause of that estrangement. Is it based on different political beliefs? Is it that they haven't been able to see your point of view about things you think are important? As long as the person isn't someone who is just plain a bad person, a bad influence, or has a history of abusive behavior, you might want to see if there's a way to repair those relationships to help you build that community. Also, a lack of sleep can be a big issue for parents. When newborns come into the world, what's the first thing that you're told? Sleep when they sleep. And this is great advice. It's not easy to get any rest when you have an infant or even a toddler to look after. But the same is true for older kids. You need to be in a good frame of mind to be able to make consistent positive decisions related to your children. Parenting can be frustrating and even infuriating at times, but nothing can take you off your game more than being exhausted. So as your kids get older, don't allow yourself to get so hung up on supporting their every need that you end up exhausted and unhealthy. Find time to get your sleep. Put them to bed a little earlier if you need to. Sleep while they're at school if you can. Uh, learn how to schedule in 20-minute power naps. And in the end, just remember that you can't put the oxygen mask on them if you don't have one on yourself. Once you have done what you need to do so that you can be there for your kids long term, come check out my website for more helpful tips and information about what to do to make the most of your time together, from how to build a relationship to how to teach new skills. If you want good ideas and support, check out my website at just7steps.com. And if you go to the forward slash workshop page, you can get access to my free workshop called How to Get Your Kids to Listen Without Raising Your Voice or Nagging and it's free for you right now just by going to the page at just7steps.com forward slash workshop. So please make sure you're able to take care of yourself so that you can continue to take care of your kids. Find help for depression if you have it. Don't let little health issues become big ones by neglect and build a community around you that can help if you ever truly need it. And finally, find a way to get enough sleep so that you can really be there present and in the right frame of mind as you try to help guide your kids as they grow. If you do all of these things, you will not only be in a better position to support them, but you will also be a great role model for self-help and self-advocacy. And come see us at just7steps.com forward slash workshop and get the free workshop to help you understand how you can take your parenting to the next level through just seven steps. If you like this video blog, I would love it if you would leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, share the videos with others who might also benefit, uh, and please um, subscribe to this channel for more valuable parenting content. I'll see you right here next week, but only if you remember to subscribe.